Hey. Uh, I forgot my name. What's my name? Do you remember my name? I look a little different now. Pierce Spunk. My name is Pierce Spunk. So I'm the party girl here at the Pure Love Kingdom. And I just thought I would show up a little bit better this time. And I'm over here dreaming, dreaming of having a grill that looks like that. This is uh, Mama Goddess's place. Perfect for entertaining. This is outside. This is the outside area. Isn't that nice? Like an outside sink? There it is. This is what I would like someday. So I have been over here when we're doing barbecues. Uh, there's great chairs. Look at this. Seating for, I don't know, maybe uh, 12. So I would love to see this like really pop. And I know in the like 10 years ago, it was totally hopping over here, but I wasn't here at that time. So um, I've seen it kind of in its downtime, but it's still a great space to be in. And I come over here about twice a month. So I'm around, I'm always out here on this uh, porch and I love it. I like look at the, the stars out through there. So it's, it's nice, it's a beautiful courtyard. Um, so I just, you know, I wanted to like, talk and think about maybe you're living in a place that's not so appealing it's important to go someplace that you find that you could daydream about like i like to visit this place because someday i could have a place like this to entertain at so we were just like looking through and i was like Mama Goddess, do you have like a glass of wine for me or something that I can drink that matches my dress? And um, she pulled out a few different things and she pulled out this one. This one's really cute. I want to show it to you. I'm going to have to turn the camera around. So it has daiquiri and it gives you like how to create the daiquiri. Tom Collins. I've never heard of that. Martini. Cosmopolitan. Has some vodka. A whiskey sour. A Manhattan. A margarita. And we're back to the beginning. What am I drinking? I don't know. Hmm. It's pretty good. Apple juice with a touch of grape juice. Makes a perfect color though, huh? I could fool anybody. They might think that I have champagne rose wine in here. Well, maybe not because of the glass that it's in. But if there was a bunch of people here and they were having fun and laughing, nobody would have to know that I'm not drinking. Well, I am drinking apple juice. I don't drink apple juice very often. It's very sweet, very sugary, but it's not bad. So where can you go? that inspires you to up-level your life. And um, I'm not talking like bar setting, you know, that's like a downgrade. Like who in your life has a nice house that you can just chill out at and just be like, yeah, someday, someday I will have something like this. So, on this quest for having a better life, being surrounded by nicer settings, um, maybe higher vibrational people, what can you do to 
make that happen. And we're talking like just surroundings, like not in a sense of what you can do to your place, but let's think higher. Let's think, let's think vision board. My idea would be if you didn't have a place to go to, what about like going on Pinterest and starting like a board where you gather all kinds of ideas, ideas for like an outside setting um, where you want like your, your stove like I, I showed over there. Like that's pretty cool. You know, the tile, having like the little beer fridge next to it, having, um, this is a smoker here, having the counter. So how can you start looking around and start envisioning that? So last week I was talking about how can you just make your place better? And that's a huge step in the right direction. Because anytime you make your place better, then, you know, you can resell it or you can start to have some enjoyment and start to have people over but do you have a dream of having a nicer place or is it just too much work you're just like eh life's not worth living who cares hey some days I kind of think that I'm like why am I here but other days I'm like no not other days within that day that same day I'm like I'm getting up, I'm doing something. But I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to go in and start on Pinterest, because I haven't had a Pinterest account in forever, go in and start having like different boards for a dream house. And the whole point of having the dream house is to have others there. It's not all for yourself. It's not to live alone. Nobody wants to live alone all their life. Like that, nah. I, sp I have a lot of alone time, but um, when I want my family over, I can have them over. I can call my kids, and and usually my girls stay with me half the time. So, um, but envisioning something, vision boards are huge. Our our nightclub owner talks about that, or she talked about that last week. So. I kind of feel like excited to share a vision board. I feel like this week I should create on Pinterest a vision board and then share it. Um, I could use my phone, like I could create it on my computer or the Pure Love computer. I could go in there on the office and I could share like all the different rooms, like think about all the different rooms that you want to uh, work on but for now maybe you want to just focus on like the outside the barbecue pit area or at least start one of those because um, I mean I know in our upstate New York farm we could have a way better thing like this is giving me ideas for that like maybe typing in like farm style barbecue pit or um, you know whatever like just if you want to just do outside stuff like landscaping for the outside that could be fun. Um, so that's your assignment this week. And that's really my assignment too, to start wish listing and going in and looking at pictures on Pinterest that inspire you to have a visually better life, to upgrade your lifestyle so that you can have people over, so you can have entertainment and not just be like you yourself and your kids there is something kind of cool i'm going to show you this is this is nice you know when you go to like the bars and they have the little outdoor thing they have the outdoor heater that's cool huh it's a little messy down there and they even have a huge cigarette tray just for me. Although those aren't all my cigarettes. So I wonder who's over here smoking. Weird. And these chairs, these are nice, you know, hundred dollars maybe each. The little tables, they need to be cleaned. And if we were doing a party, we could have like some little decorations on them. 
Oh, a telescope, just in case you need to look at the stars. And I've never seen anything in that, but that would be fun. A little fire. I'm going to ask them to light that one of these times. Maybe next time I come over, we'll light that. But yeah, it's just a nice, comfortable place to be and a huge rug. Like, I didn't know you could get rugs. Oh no, this one's not as big as I thought it was. But, so anyway, um, thanks for watching and I love you. Bye.